Uh, here's a quick tour of my van, so check it out. Transit 250, 2019. Medium roof, medium length. Next little step. Wife bought me that. That's where I put the tanks. And all the other goodies. Got the wood down. All right. Slap some hard stuff in there. Pipe threader. Tripod. Boilers. I do a lot of cast iron boilers. I do a lot of oil. So I got an oil bucket, waste bucket, trash can. I've got my little dolly. I've got my hoses. I've got some extra copper. I like these little hoses from Home Depot. When you want to purge a zone. When you want to pump out a system. It's a lot faster. I've got my expandable seat. Opens right up. And I use that. I need that. Because that is for my Milwaukee light. Torpedo light. Um, obviously, I need one large extension cord for a variety of things. And then I got the short little one for maybe when I'm on the job and I want to just charge some batteries or run additional things. I got a three foot and a four foot level. My large and small zip ties lengthwise. Extra copper, blow out with the nitrogen. Got a couple of those, just extras. Um, always carry a broom. B tank to nitrogen, necessary. On this side, I got, well, right here, I got all my copper, PVC, PEX, and rod, extras, trash bags, silicone, furnace cement, some washers. So larger, 3 8 size, and smaller than those five quarter inch. Um, just miscellaneous extras, all these products, I haven't used that in forever, but maybe this one I will, um, I don't really care for that brand anymore, I use a different brand, but I'll use it up, I don't use that very often, but I guess it's good to have. I do like that stuff. Blackhawk, that's good. Um, some of that new bright condenser coil cleaner. And I also got the uh, Viper. I just have a miscellaneous. I like to try different products. Carry a couple drop cloths. And that's my, my big dustpan. Let's go back this way again. So yeah, I carry that sucker for on jobs. I got this for my installs. So whenever I'm doing boilers and stuff like that, this is all the stuff I would typically use. Um, like I said, I do a lot of hydronics, gas, oil, AC. Down here I have one of those uh, oil hand pumps, miscellaneous flue pipe. I'm in the north, so all this stuff is more common. Some returns. Here I have obviously my wire, extra wire, some, Viet, uh, some liquidite, my uh, filled piece, uh, refrigerant gauge, my Milwaukee light, and here I just keep an assortment of all my goodies, my extra tools, fluke, a lot of different things, big fat jumpers. And I've got a little uh, soldering gun right there, the Milwaukee soldering gun. And then I've got the little whiz wheel cutoff tool. Keep an extra thermostat already pre-wired. I also have in here um, infrared gun. I like my other field, not uh, fluke, meter. Suction gauge, extra manometer. And that there is for testing ECM motors. Trying to be brief here. And this is just um, extra like gas testing stuff. Uh, then I got those nice little handy Klein screwdrivers for small stuff. I think that's the oil pump pressure gauge. That's an oil gun, uh, oil line blowout gun. 
and that's like i said for testing gas lines and up here um klein insulated screwdriver set extra paper for my um my testo uh, my combustion analyzers and uh, i don't really use this very often but this actually measures distance looks like it's cracked no it's scratched and uh tests for voltage there's my purple light that's what i call it there's some extra stuff i don't really use that often now oh, i did already have another pair of those <laughs> oh look at that construction thermostat i don't know why that's in here and this uh yeah i think we all know what that's for but i don't don't remember i just throw stuff in here i guess the glasses and some leak sealant but i usually have other stuff from below right now on that and my letter that is my press tool uh, from half inch all the way up to um, inch and a quarter uh, copper press milwaukee pro press and then this is all just i keep like a torch kit in here for my little beat um map gas i have the all this for everything for soldering i got like one small cutter in there but i get everything else uh flux and solder and uh and torch head so it works pretty good i don't need a sparker for that or nothing it's got the click click it lights up and then i've got um my upanor tool and i got all the heads in a, another uh case in there for that and then that i just have extra um socket sets and stuff like that that i don't use very often but that's actually no that's my tap and die set as well for when i have bolts that are broken and stuff so i go through that and just you have that ready for extractions and everything but those um is all my mini split stuff yes for doing mini splits and copper you know what i'm saying so look at my automatic flare tool my um yeah, that thing works pretty good. Cutting line hide, and then the torque wrench, and then the uh, Hillmore tubing bender. Okay, and then um, a manual, a small little tubing bender. There's all the fit. Oh, there's all the accessories for that other Hillmore, and then my charger and all that for the Navac. And I'll tell you that Navac never goes dead. That battery lasts forever. I hardly ever charge it. But yeah, it's a pretty cool setup. Kind of got everything I need when I want to do a mini split. And some ACR lines. It's pretty cool. And like I said, that was my uh, pro press stuff. So it's all set up to go ahead and work on some pipe. All my jaws and the pro press tool down in there and the cutter. I got automatic cutter with it. So I can do piping pretty quickly. Alright, let's take a look at sheet metal tools. Pretty much everything for building plenums and working on ductwork and all that good stuff, stuff I've built up over the years. Uh, these screws, I can never keep them in one spot. They just are everywhere all the time. <laughs> and you know I have this, right, for bending, okay, for uh, making your, in your uh, plenums, your creases so it doesn't go bang, bang when you turn on the fan RLS, more RLS oh my gosh what is this oh look at that all my zoom block RLS then I got the jaws for that which actually go to the Milwaukee tool that's in the other one for pro press I just grabbed that tool when I need it okay. all right let's keep looking here so we got oh that's all for my boilers and furnaces and all that stuff flue gasket materials gaskets and stuff and this is all my other tubing Riello ignition. I don't know what the heck that was for. But I got a lot of extra heads and parts for oil burners and gas burners. And then I've got just all my other miscellaneous wiring terminal lock for the uh, compressors. Put that back in there with that. Fuses. All right. Thermal couples, sensors, glow plugs. Glow plugs. I think you get the point. Acid test stuff, another universal igniter. Uh, CAD cell kits and uh, some relays. Always keep a couple of relays. I got these, luckily, just extras. Um, TC1 plugs, you name it. Um, all my switches, pressure switches, all my replacement switches, low pressure, high pressure, freeze stats, um, condensate overflow switches, 
look at, you know, an assortment of it all. But this is all pro press, half inch pro press, and some soldered fittings. I do half inch and quarter soldered in the same half inch pro press kit. That's my mega press. So I do mega press. I got those jaws. I'll show you that after. Um, and then I got gas press. I like the press, the copper gas press. I got the tags in there. I got three. I got half inch. I got three quarter. I do a lot of installs with this van, so I don't need a trailer or nothing. This van's set up for service, maintenance, repairs, installs. So you name it. Thirty percent wires. Put my ladder up there. I love that little, uh, little giant. Uh, no, Gorilla. And uh, got three wire. I think that's like six. I think that's like eight. Extra ten stranded. Um, when you're pulling new uh, whips, all my covers and stuff. TC twos and TC ones, those boxes. But I always usually have the other boxes where you can cut in through the uh, sheetrock where you have to cut in a switch. And they have the tabs, all my breakers and switches. Here is my new uh, drill set, Milwaukee Fuel. It's a good little set. Like I said, my air pump, light, radio. This is good when you're cutting your holes up in the ceiling, right? More light required, the phone just said. Whoops. Anyway, this is all miscellaneous. Pulley puller, flare, scissors extra stuff you know you know breaker bar extras that i don't use too too often this is for uh i gotta do the bigger pipe deeper yep all right so then we got here uh my ac stuff with all my uh schrader remover tools and all my miscellaneous uh, ac working equipment fittings and accessories from hoses and all that stuff and uh manifolds um and then i got extra hole saws here just extras bigger ones that i don't use as often and then i got those mega press jaws right here all the way from half to one inch with a white marker for black i do prefer to do the copper press as much as possible as it is so much easier to put in than to do the black so but anyway, I got my buddy's drop cloth. Got to give that back to him. And then I've got the 18-volt pump. That's handy dandy. And I got my uh, hardware. And split, split rings and anchors. And then here is all of my other good stuff. All of my drill bits. Pretty much I keep, I don't, I don't keep tools and the bits all in the same thing. I just keep one thing for all my bits, for all my stuff. That's all like masonry stuff, right? That's awesome. Because I got the uh, Milwaukee tool for that. For the spine, whatever the heck you call it. Either way, it works. Better than the one that goes in your regular drill on my blades. A new, you know, just it's there when you need it. Hole saws, not gonna bother opening that up, but uh, it's all my extra bits, right? I don't wanna throw them out. It's miscellaneous, is and other miscellaneous hole saws and stuff. Guess I don't need a marker in there. I'll take that. Thank you. Okay, it's good stuff. Love the pack out. Works awesome. You, you know, even though these shelves aren't deep enough for um, for the boxes, it actually works fine. Yeah, a little bit of a pain in the butt taking it out, but they actually work fine because they don't fall out um, because they have that angle at them. So somebody said to flip over the shelves, but I don't think that's necessary. So that's where I carry all my electrical fittings. Screws, small screws and anchors. Like I said, man, I want to be prepared. Packs, water packs. Socket set. This is the one I would typically grab. Upanor. Once again, I do a lot of hydronics. Electrical. When I do installs. Or, you know, just clean it. It's not very organized. That one's the best. Um, I wrote electrical on there. Like I said, I've switched these so many times. But I just threw PVC in this one instead. You know what I mean? And then I've got my all my flare fittings, crap load of flare fittings there. 
Oh, black iron. And then I've got miscellaneous, you know, hammers and uh, chisels and oh, hacksaw and stuff. Let me just put those extras in there. All right, hold on. The fun part. So that is all my 12 volt stuff. Drills, cutoff tools, angle drill, impact, a little 12 volt bandsaw. So just this double stack. Uh, so you get your uh, shears, grinder, PVC cutter, my mini sawzall, hacksaw, I mean uh, jigsaw, and the punch tool, I call it a you know, punch tool, but it's really obviously the um, universal tool there. What the hell do you call it? I always forget. Anyway, um, osculating, and then my mega press. And then the bigger bandsaw. And the ammo, hammer drill, rod cutter. Yeah, hacks, uh, skill saw, saws all, and my angle drill. Yeah, I got a lot wrapped up in this stuff, man. But I use this stuff all the time, all the time. And it just so saves me so much time having everything semi-organized. Acid neutral neutralizer pebbles, rocks replace, and uh, reload kit, and all my oil burner, um, and water parts, water feeders, and igniters, and re zone relay, and safeguard, lower to cutoffs, primaries, zones, uh, zone sentry, head, um, draft control, and then I just got, you know, another motor, utility motor, and a transformer kit, and another smaller shaded pole motor, um, detector, gas detector, carbon monoxide and then my Miller mobile home filters Nordine and vacuum bags and uh, all my liquid line filter dryers thermostats standard T1 Pro um, non-programmable just a basic heat cool heat and cool one heat one cool then I keep a Wi-Fi just in case somebody wants a Wi-Fi and then I keep another standard these were my favorites for a long time and then I got a round common around here so I don't typically do the sweats. I typically like the flares because I got the zoom pre zoom lock press and uh, I'll just be able to, I can press those right on because they're flare and I got the adapters for them and a sight glass. Same, same idea that I can screw right onto the liquid line filter dryer. Um, so yeah, you got um, make on, uh, make on, delay on make timers, switching relays, um, another timer. Zone valve head, other transformer, contactors, um, just got, you know, my basics, basically my 30 amps, 24 volt coils, probably have a 120 volt coil in there, 40 amp, um, might have a three, I don't get it, I get more shunts and more single, you know, single shunts, uh, and dual poles, not doing as much commercial anymore, so it's more smaller residential stuff, I had an ECM circulator, regular takeo circulator back there, Beckett burner motor, standard Suntec fuel pump, that's the, um, relay solenoid um clean cut oil burner pump i got a basic um century motor which is an indoor fan motor belt driven and then i got a condensate pump and i got a condenser fan motor uh, rescue and i got a couple other uh, smaller and larger uh, indoor fan motors none of them are ecms so they're just standards but i might put an ecm on the truck i don't know and anyway, my milwaukee vac and my uh, field piece vacuum pump and this is all my, I just use this for all of my gloves and my masks and my um, eyeglasses, safety glasses. That's my Testo, um, my NAVAC leak, refrigerant leak detector. And then the uh, brushless vacuum pump, the Milwaukee. When I don't want to grab the other one to have to plug it in and I just want to do a quick evacuation, I can grab the battery powered one, which works excellent. Um, this is my Porta Blaster, highly recommended. Unless you got to carry it up on a roof with a five gallon bucket of water, that ain't so practical, but uh, that is definitely a handy dandy tool. And I still got my old yellow uh, recovery machine I've had since I started my company and 11 years ago. Um, I carry um, some extra poly tubing, three eighths. And then I just got the extra vacuum pump oil, cool cleaner, and I also carry a big thing of the uh, bubble leak detector solution, because you know, that runs out before you know it. I use a lot of that. This is my oil burner, this tune up kit. Just all my stuff. So I can actually take that out and I fill the white one up with oil and catch oil with that. But that I put all that stuff into. And then this becomes the oil catch bucket. 
Milwaukee fan. I gotta have that. And then, obviously, you know what that is. Pump sprayer. And some extra hoses. That's actually the accessories that go with this. Um, and then a bib kit for mini splits. Um, this is just expansion tank for boilers. And then I've got rags. It's just rags in there. I don't want to open that up. A lot of rags. I like that way. all the rags I can get. Vac um, soot vac. And then um, recovery usually for R4, R4, you know, R22, R410, R22 here, R410 here. Um, X, my tool pack pouch for when i'm doing installs my extra hoses for cleaning coils my extinguisher i thought i had something else there maybe i don't but in here i carry all my big straps and everything straps uh bought that recently because i was using the testo and i had a problem with it my buddy had this and uh we pulled down really quick because the whole time it was pulling or no it was leaking it should have been pulling down but it was actually the testo uh digital wireless um vacuum gauge even though the evacuation gauge even though i like it a lot i just went and bought myself one of these to have a backup it's always good to have two digital vacuum gauges and then just standard set of hoses for i mix my hoses even for r10 or r r410 or r22 i don't really keep one gauge for one thing i know you should use them individually um, but i do like my brutes i don't i just charge with these test with these um, maybe I might pull an evacuation with these once in a while on something small, like maybe a mini split, but, um, but yeah, just charging and testing on those. And then I've got the digital, which is good. I don't really use my gauges too, too much. I do have, um, in here I have all of the, um, wireless, it's all of the wireless stuff. You know, you get your psychrometer. I want to get another one of those Bluetooth psychrometer by Testo. It's just temp gauge. I got the another temp gauge with a high side, low side um, gauges. Testo. I should have done field piece, but I already had Testo. I like the Testo as well. And, uh, you know, I got my clamp on gauges. So basically, that's what I carry. I carry all that in extra psychrometer. Um, anometer. Yeah, there we go. For the one that measures airflow and CFM. Oh, it's on. Don't need it connecting to my phone right now. Anyway, so yeah, so then I got that, that vacuum gauge. I don't know. Maybe I gotta replace that gasket or something, but it seems fine. So I don't know. But yeah, it's a good little set, good little kit. And I got the Vito bit, uh, pack for this. This works excellent. So I just hang this right up on the side here. Yeah, so that works good. Um, basically my batteries, all my 12 volt batteries and all my larger batteries. And uh, it's all able to be um, you know, charge it as I drive. It's all wired up to the battery with an inverter in the front. And, um, yeah, so I carry valves. I carry other boiler accessories, um, blower pulley, uh, pulleys and bearings and, um, air vents, dump strainers, strainers, filters, oil filters, more oil filters, more spin on oil filters, a lot of black iron, small stuff, and then some other oil tank accessories up there, and then just everything for tapes and zip ties and anti-vibration pads, more anti-vibration pads, and uh, other miscellaneous cleaners and just testers and just everything under the sun, right? This is the catch-all of all that stuff. And then uh, air electrical catch-all for all that stuff. This is my sweat for my ACR fittings and porch chips. This is all of, uh, this is really oil burner stuff, but I've kind of thrown other things in here too, but these are all like oil burner parts and stuff, oil burner gauges and eyes and solenoids for pumps and um, sorry, I just got a notification my battery's dying. And pilots for gas. And then I got hydronic stuff. All the, all the goodies. Caps. Uh, bolts. Nuts. Wells. Cirque. Bolts and flange gaskets. Hose clamps. You know, all that. Adapters and all that. So there's that. Now, um, under here I do have a nipple tray kit. Gotta reload that. Then I do have uh, under there, I have in a white bucket, I have my small, three of them, I have small um, washing machine hoses with the pony pump. So I don't put any more chemical through this guy anymore. Nope. 
I burnt out two of those already. So I only do that for water. Anytime I put any kind of boiler cleaner or anything through it, it's gone. I kill it. Change pencil holder. That's where my phone goes. That's my GPS. I got my iPad holder right there that's movable. I built this for that. So I can have a pad, this gets out of the way. That's my inverter right there. Um, I put those up to catch stuff, like my first aid kit and some temp remote temp sensors. Um, those are my father's, I gotta give them back to him, but I don't really use them. Um, I'm gonna get new invoices soon, they're coming soon. Pads, this is for when I do estimates, I just bring this in and write down all the info for an estimate. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking fast because I'm trying to go fast. And this is a handy dandy light, and I plug everything in, charge it as I go, and I got my QuickBooks card reader, and it stays charged, so it's handy. It's taken me years in the making to get, I'm a Christian, I read my Bible, bring my Bible with me, this is my uh, Christian standard Bible, and uh, this is my oil test kit. Uh, business cards and stickers, gloves and hats, and then go around the... So I open that up. So that's where I put, and that's not beer, that's water. Um, but it looks like a beer bottle. But anyway, I built that to divide for my books. It's pretty nice now. And then this is cool, because I put my keys for customers' homes. And uh, batteries, and I got another light, Milwaukee light. Yeah. So I made it, made it useful, made it work. Anchored that right in there. Pre-drilled some holes. So I like it, it's working good for me now. Uh, I got air filters behind that seat. So I put some one inch filters on uh, assortment for those. And then. My uh, field piece manometer. I didn't mean to buy two packs of these. I wasn't sure which one I wanted. So I'm probably gonna return one of them, but maybe they're both handy because the jumpers with the big fat ends are hard sometimes to get on the small circuit boards. So it is nice to have the smaller ones. Yeah, those are 36 inch length. I don't need them that dang long, but that's okay. So yeah, I got my light. I keep that here. I keep my heat gun here. Um, just got that, I haven't used it yet, but I'm sure it's gonna work just fine. Um, so this is where I throw all my uh, invoices, my receipts, all my receipts, all my checks and all that stuff. And uh, just miscellaneous papers and other miscellaneous items. Um, I'm gonna have more invoices soon coming. So probably go up there and the extras in here. And then uh, that's usually where I keep my booties, some extra gloves. And this is really cool. So I put an eight amp hour battery on that. I can run that Porter Blaster. Thank you to Quality HVAC and R. He uh, showed me that. He has a Porter Blaster and he uses this. So he doesn't have to find a cord. He doesn't have to find a plug. So he can just, uh, he can run that. And I've already done it. I've already ran my Porter Blaster off of this. So it makes that Porter Blaster that much more handier. So all you got to lug up is that water. So it's pretty, pretty cool setup. Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the van. I know it was kind of quick and a little bit uh, messy, but I was trying to just blow through this, uh, show you it real quick, and I keep my silicone gun there. So, yeah, I like it. I like the transits. It's good. It's probably the best setup I've ever had. I'm enjoying it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please uh, like and subscribe.